Good evening, friends. As promised, now I would be uh, taking you through uh, the process in which we can, or you can say these are the steps for downloading the software from the uh, homepage of the Python uh, organization itself. So here, first of all, we will like to go ahead and uh, check it out with the uh, page that is the home page for the python organization which is dub 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 you you are not going to just write down as i mean key the words as python.org it has to be dub 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 python.org then you would be uh, seeing that you will be uh, taken through this particular page you will be landing up in fact i would say to this particular uh, page of the uh, python organization here you can see about here if you are interested you can uh, read about um, the complete organization downloads this is where we will be uh, i'll be taking you through documentation the entire all the versions uh, you know each of the version of the python that was released in that particular year uh, the document is present which means that we can uh, open the document and we can study about that particular software uh, released in that then the community which is there present for us similar to our wherein you can go ahead and you can talk to them you can interact with them and they are there to help you out the success stories news and events are also available here we have got python PSF, this is the Python steering uh, force that we have got. Then the documents which are available, uh, PYPI, which is again, I'll be taking you through later on, not at this moment. Uh, jobs, if somebody is interested, they can go ahead and they can, they are welcome to take care of it. And the community also is available. Then in case we would like to donate something that is also available uh, so that they can run the organization properly. And for socializing on Twitter, Facebook, they have got their own, um, I should say, the platforms and one can go there and you can join up. Uh, I mean, you can become a member and you can interact with them. Now, apart from that, uh, there are others also which I will not be focusing as of now. We will see later. Now here they have given you immediately that Python is a programming language that lets you. Now here you will see that you would be uh, first of all, uh, you know, seeing under the download, getting started, um, you will be get the start with your own beginner's guide is available wherein uh, whether you are new to programming or an experienced developer, it's easy to learn and use Python. Now, this is exclusively for the programming language. So if you're interested, you can click over there and you can carry forward. However, uh, you may not be able to understand each and everything, how to proceed further or what. So, you know, that's the reason why the community is available and you can take the help. Download here, you know, whenever the latest version is available that is being highlighted in the blue color. So Python 3.8.1 is the latest version. You can click on it and you can go ahead to download it now this is what i would say direct downloading of the software out here now under the docs it's nothing but the documentation for python standard library along with the tutorials and guides which are available online for each one of us now this is something which if you are interested you can carry forward with the jobs part of it however it's none of my business right now so i'm not focusing on that now latest news is also available this is a full-fledged website for the uh, um i should say community and here they have given you each and every details now the future activities are also available for us now here since i'm interested i'll go ahead and i'll be clicking on python 3.8.1 and you would see that you would be taken through another page you can use it from there or click on downloads and here also you'll be getting the same information download three uh, i mean uh, python 3.8.1 looking for python with a different OS Python for uh, operating systems. OS stands for the operating system. So here you will see that they have uh, given you instructions for uh, individuals using Windows or for Linux or Unix, Mac, uh, OS X is also there and the other operating system they have um, highlighted want to help test development versions of python pre-releases docker images they are also available in case someone wants to uh, you know take the initiative and help them you can go ahead and looking i mean you can go there and you can let them know about it in the sense that let them know in the sense you can inform them that yes you are interested for testing their development versions also now uh, sometimes what happens is that now uh, and another video of mine i'll be discussing um 
why people uh, you know really are interested in working for python 2 version 2.0 version or before um, you know using the higher ones like 3.8.1 or something like that now reason there is there are a few reasons and we will see them later on so here even if you click um, and download 3.8.1 you will be able to uh, <clears throat> use the latest version of python that's what i would like to say now, looking for a specific release then python releases by uh, version number now in case you are interested like for example i see that there are individuals who are still working on uh, version 2.0 now uh, you know you one can go ahead and we can check it out here you can see that he, a complete list is present for us for example looking for a specific release so here you have got the entire um, thing so release version uh, here the first column the second column talks about the release date along with the year it's not just the date it's the month uh, uh, date and the year so all three of them then download also has been given to us click for more that is the release notes in the sense that if you uh, go ahead and if you click on them you will see that uh, you will be taken to another page wherein you will be able to see all the details about that particular Mm, version of python wherein you are able to understand you know what wh why this particular version was released and what was how is it different from for example if i clicked on this i get the complete thing you can see here uh, it gives you the details uh, documentation table of contents it's like a book for you so you can uh, download it and you can keep it and you can do it now someone uh, is interested to go ahead with the comparative studies or something they can even do that now here once i come over I click on download Python 3.81. It gives you all this thing. This is Python 3.8, the first maintenance release of Python 3.8. And then they're talking to giving you the details about the. I hope you do remember what is PEP, and that's the reason why I had uh, prepared that particular um, video and uploaded it in the um, YouTube. Now here you will see that uh, Python enhancing principle 572. Those were the initial principles which guide gives the guide these are respective to the each version of the software so here you can see a p p572 it talks about assignment expression now once we will go through the uh, steps or the intricacies of the programming language now i don't know how many of you would be interested in that still uh, you know it's nothing wrong is there so you know you can go through each one of them and you can learn the programming language also so here they give you the list actually about uh, what additions have been made from the prior one. So here you can see, you know, PEP 590, PEP uh, 578, PEP 574, PEP 587, PEP 570, like that. Now, you see, the details are present and whether they had some legal problem and then what kind of changes were made all these things you know becomes very good for us also to know uh, for the particular software so here when i clicked on pep 572 it tells us you know what is this particular principle and what was taking place out here so they give you a uh, title author status then type created on and the version in which it is available etc uh, etc et so all these details are available and someone who is interested and um i would be interested reason some of them i know it very well so you know once we'll be taking the training or are aware of those terminologies we can also each one of you can be a uh, part of it so here more resources you can see then for uh, they are giving you special instructions uh, for example if you are a window user the binaries of amd64 will also work on processor now you see uh, even if i click on this it will not work unless and until your system has got these specification now in case your system does not then it will not be working therefore later on in the uh, next one or maybe after two three more videos i'll be showcasing to you as to how to go ahead and even um, you know select which is the best version for your 
own system now here they are giving you the guidelines there are now web based installers now which i call it as the online uh, resources so these are also present and we will see how to carry forward and take care of them now there are uh, redistributable zip files containing the windows builds make it easy to redistribute now as you see in that way uh, python has got the leverage of being uh, advantages for us to work as a software package so you know you don't have to take it up they have got a uh, variety of it for the windows users similarly for mac os users they have got um, their own versions and they require certain um, i should say certificates for that now some of you who are using apple now uh, notebooks now for it is for them basically now similarly if there is now this is something which we don't uh, require it now this is meant for the entertainment or uh, kind of a fun uh, you know if you want to join the community they have given in that way and inviting you for that now similarly uh, this is going to give us the information as to how to carry forward and here they have given you the files now whether it is executable one non executable one 64 bit 32 bit now even if it is 32 bit there are certain other specifications that they have given to us so once we go ahead and uh, download the um i would say the uh, software then you can now i can show it to you by clicking uh, 3.8.1 once i do it though i have it on my system so i don't know this is very sensitive once it is installed it will not allow you to reinstall it once more in your system because it occupies a good space so therefore it is not going to allow you and it will definitely say the software has failed to download itself kind of a stuff so here you will be seeing all these things so i have given you little bit information as to how and in what manner um uh, one can go ahead and you can download it so here once we have uh, downloaded the software you i mean i have just clicked on it now it's a very easy one it's not very difficult once i click on it what will happen it will be uh, executed you will get i mean first of all uh, the folder would be created wherein it is going to be downloaded just click on it once you click it it will be asking you should i run so once you do it further it will be running again now in my case it has already been installed so i'm really sorry it will not be i, I keep my fingers crossed and let's see if it allows now here yeah, here see i have downloaded it now the file is getting executed now you see twice i have done it so once i was uh, showcasing it to someone else and the second time is for you so now i'm going to run the file now you see my system is very sensitive now one click second so i'm just uh, just see with one click how many things have been downloaded so once i go ahead and you can see i hope it does so that i can show it to you in case not then it i'll get a message saying that sorry uh, it has failed to download now you see it is not now here i can see that uh, the problem is coming though i have to check it out myself along with you so once you have downloaded there is no need for you to do it again now i have seen uh, you know in python community they have lot of uh, games they keep playing now you see here can you see it is still getting downloaded so let me see what kind of a message i would get now i'm just waiting can you see this one next to bandit cap out here it is getting downloaded so let's see what's the message that i'll get now uh, if it is running then i can show it to you if it is now nah, the setup has failed so i'm so sorry mine is already uh, downloaded therefore it will not be showcasing however you can do it step by step just click it and it would be downloaded on your system so this is how you are going to do it from the home page of the python organization and download the software for yourself so let me come up with the next video uh more with the installations for the online purposes or the uh, web ones that we are going to check it out so till then thanks and take care bye